All right, guys, let's do it. It looks like this box has, box has been opened, but it has not. I have not seen this snake. This is just a reused box. I do that all the time, too. Shipping boxes are more expensive than people might think. So, reuse them when you can. As long as you trust the person that the box came from, obviously. You don't want to accidentally send mites or pathogens to somebody. Anyway... Here we go. This is going to be one of the most exciting snakes ever to open. Hmm. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Oh, she pooped in there. Sounds about right. So this is an adult female from Jeff Teal. And I believe it came from some, here I'm going to change this light a little bit, from some uh, Hypo-E lineage. I can't remember for sure, but um, what I'm more interested in is the fact that she is extremely, extremely aberrant. And I have my aberrant line, the striped line from Croatia, and I am going to cross the two by using what is called a het. Uh, my my male that's um, a clutch mate to the female visual striped. Um, there were a number produced, and uh, I think I've said this in my other videos, but the guy who produced them um, says that he proved it out recessive. And so if that's true, um, it might take a couple generations to see either of these um, come out in the babies, or these two lines could be compatible and we could get them right off the bat. Oh my god, this snake is so cool. Hey. Come on out. I'm just going to let her come out on her own. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, look at this snake, guys. Hi. Wow. <laughs> I think this snake is cooler maybe even than my striped pyro from Europe. Wow. She's an old girl, but I believe... I should have looked at my messages with Jeff before I did this video, but I believe she laid good eggs last year and the year before, if I remember correctly. Let me get rid of this stuff so you guys can really get a good look at her. She's cold, but... Like I always say, that is way better than being too hot. Don't go by my knife. That's not a good idea. Man. What a great looking snake. She just came out of brumation. So I'm going to put a little bit of weight on her, obviously. But this is great timing. Because Jeff just took his animals out of brumation at the same time that I did. Look at that. If that's not a striped pyro, I don't know what is. So, we'll see what we can do. Getting her uh, crossed with my European line. And, um, you know, just breed her and, and hold back babies. I, don't, I think Jeff said he's never held back any babies uh, to breed together or to breed back to her. So we don't know what, what she's holding on to genetically herself. And then obviously there's the potential of uh, mixing it with the Croatian line or even um, the Russo aberrant. Look at that neck. I love the neck. So cool. She's a little annoyed by my handling because she's so chilled. But look at that. I 
I figured you guys deserve a really good look at this snake. Get her close up, hopefully it'll be in focus. Let's look at the belly. Hmm. Really interesting. Turn over for a sec. Look at that. Pure black opposite the stripe on top. What a wonderful snake. Thank you, Jeff. I am really happy to have this animal and to start seeing what genetic potential it has and you know, maybe we can get some other genes into this. Sense hypo obviously would look incredible with this and then hypo E is a pretty pretty big no-brainer but there's also not that much red on this pyro so um, I think hypo makes a little more sense uh, for starters. Applegate and who knows? Who knows what we can do? I want them to see your face. Awesome. I'm going to put her back in her bag and let her warm up. And I'm going to give you guys a uh, sneak peek at the... It's not really a sneak peek, but kind of a, just an update um, on the striped stuff. And uh, my one Russo aberrant. Actually, I have a female from the Russo aberrant line that is up to size, I think, this year. So I'll show you those guys and yeah, stay tuned.